Welcome to another wonderful time in God's presence as we review today's Open Heavens devotional for the 8th of November. And our topic today is why you can be sure of victory part three. Why you can be sure of victory part three. I pray for you this morning that you would experience permanent victories in every, permanent victory in every area of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 91 verse 3. Psalm 91 verse 3 says, Surely it shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. It says, Surely the Lord will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Our Bible reading is taken from Mark 6 verse 45 to 51. Mark 6 verse 45 to 51. Immediately, he made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, to Bethsaida, while he sent the multitude away. And when he had sent them away, he departed to the mountain to pray. Now when the evening came, the boat was in the middle of the sea, and he was alone on the land. Then he saw them straining at rowing, for the wind was against them. Now about the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea, and would have passed them by. And when they saw him walking on the sea, they supposed he was a ghost and cried out. For they all saw him and were troubled. And immediately he talked with them and said to them, Be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. Verse 51, the last verse, Then he went up into the boat to them, and the wind ceased, and they were greatly amazed in themselves beyond measure, and marveled. The Lord, we God, our victory is sure. We God our victory is sure because God cannot be defeated on land, in the sea, and not even by air. Psalm, um, Isaiah 66 verse 1, Isaiah 66 verse 1 says, Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you build unto me, and where is the place of my rest? So God is occupying both the heavens and the earth, and there is nothing that can contend or defeat him. There is absolutely nothing. Our Father and the Lord says in today's devotion that when witches gather to meet in their coven and they are talking, God can already see their every moment and every move and every plan and he will protect you. In Joshua chapter 10 verse 1 to 14, some kings were fighting Joshua and the people of Israel and God sent stones from heaven to break their head and also obeyed and honored the word of Joshua to ensure that the sun did not set so that Joshua could have total victory over his enemies. And we see it also in Genesis 19:24, when God sent brimstone and fire from heaven to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. So you see, God is controller of the airspace. He is the controller of the airspace. There is no force on earth or in the spirit realm that has absolute control over the airspace. So every time we align with God, every time we are in obedience, every time we yield ourselves to him, God will fight for us and there is nothing in the air. So our memory verse says that he will deliver us from the snow of the foul and the noisome pestilence. There is no virus, there is no disease carried in the air that will be able to touch us or reach us as children of the Most High God. Our Father and the Lord shared an experience and our read to us. Says, One day we decided to follow up on a woman who had not been to church for some time. The woman complained to us when we got to her house that since she started coming to church, she had not been able to fly at night to meet our fellow witches. That's the power of the commander of the airspace, the great commander of the airspace. Psalm 91 verse two to four says, I will see of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He will cover me with his feathers. Under his wings will I trust. His truth will be my shield and my buckler. So today it's a subtle reminder a great reminder, not a subtle one, that our victory is showing God. There is nothing that is traveling in the air that has been released in the air that can overcome a child of God. Absolutely nothing. Our prayer point says, Heavenly Father, please rain your brimstone and fire upon all the obstacles to my success in Jesus' name. Lord, rain your brimstone and fire upon every hindrance to my progress in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed, amen and amen. Go and experience total victory in Jesus' name. Thank you.